Prince Harry is beating the UK tabloid media, the Daily Mail. And you love to see it, my family. A couple of weeks ago, the Daily Fail published an article saying this, and I quote, Prince Harry's tell-all spare must sell more than 1.7 million copies for Penguin Random House to break even after gambling, they call it gambling, $20 million on his full book publishing deal. That is what they basically said. And they also say this. Expert analysis predicts spare must get combined 1.7 million in print and ebook sales for Penguin Random House to earn back the $20 million advance paid to Harry. The book would need to enter the top 15 chart in the US and become a UK bestseller. And then Daily Fail observers say the public could shun the memoir <laughs> because in their own words, they are tired of hearing from Harry and Meghan in TV interviews and the docuseries on Netflix in their own words, they said. And my family, however, the Daily Fail's plot to see Prince Harry fail is not working out exactly like they want it to work out. And even for those who believe what they're told by Daily Mail, my family, I want you to hear this most recent news that has been released right now. My family, kindly please hear this. My family, it's important you're able to understand just how Prince Harry is beating the UK tabloid media. My family, by telling his own story in his own words. People want to hear from Harry. Harry himself. Kindly please hear this. Prince Harry's fair memoir has sold more than 3.2 million copies worldwide after just one week of publication. One week, one week, one week of publication and will likely rank among the best-selling memoirs of all time. My family, do you see the power, you know, of God's love for Harry and Meghan? The evil UK press, the evil farm, the evil courtiers described by Harry as the bee, the wasp, and the fly. They wanted so badly for Prince Harry to fail. So, so badly. The life of the spare was not supposed to be this successful. They never wanted this for Harry. But look, my family, Prince Harry continues to prosper. Each and every single day. That is becoming so, so difficult. My family, for UK media to keep up its facade. Because my family... Look at this, for instance. UK media have been running polls. Oh, look, Harry's popularity is gone so, so low, even below Andrew, Prince Andrew, someone who paid 12 million pounds to a woman he said he had never, ever met. The said woman had accused him of sexual assault. Apparently, by the account of the UK media, Apparently, Andrew is more famous than Harry, they say. And they've been doing these polls to say that, you know, Harry's popularity has gone so down. And yet, my family, when you look at the numbers, my family, 3.2 million copies sold worldwide after just 
one week of publication, Prince Harry, his memoir will likely rank among the best selling memoirs of all time. It is becoming difficult for UK media to keep up the facade that Harry and Meghan are not popular. Because the numbers here, it does not lie. Prince Harry, his memoir spare, has beaten the record of the great president, former president Barack Hussein Obama, and even the great former first lady, Michelle Obama. My family, it is becoming difficult for UK media to keep up the facade that Harry and Meghan and Meghan are not popular. It is becoming difficult, my family. Why? Thanks to the numbers that are being reported on by media outlets across the world. I mean, hear this, please. Penguin Random House announced on Thursday that Prince Harry's headline-making memoir sold 1.6 million copies in the U.S. alone. <laughs> Meaning, in the U.S. market alone, Penguin Random House, based on the assessment of even the Daily Mail, Prince Harry, has managed to get Penguin Random House all the money it paid him in advance for his memoir spare using the accounts of the Daily Mail because you know they are going to change that. They are going to change that because my family, the world is seeing the power of Harry. And Daily Mail smear campaign of Harry and Meghan is not working. It is a failure, a failure, a failure, a failure and a failure. Please hear this. It's a number comparable to first week sales for blockbusters such as former President Barack Obama's A Promised Land and former First Lady Michelle Obama's Becoming which has sold more than 17 million copies since coming out in 2018. The British publishers announced last week that Spare Memoir by Harry also sold, sold an additional 400,000 copies in the United Kingdom in all formats, hardback, ebook, and audio. My family, my family, I love this so much. I love this so much. I just love to see Prince Harry succeeding in this manner. It brings me great, great joy that the Lying Daily Mail is not getting its way when it comes to Prince Harry and Meghan. They wanted so badly for both Harry and Meghan to fail, but clearly, that just ain't happening, my family. Prince Harry and Meghan continue to fly higher and higher. Continue to prosper. Continue to succeed, my family. Prince Harry is already a New York Times bestseller. His memoir is a New York Times bestseller. My family, the hate campaign of the UK media is just not working out. It is just not working out. The hate campaign by UK media is just not working out, my family. And even Spare takes the number one spot, maintaining its record-setting pace with first week sales of 750,000 in the UK. My family. Barack Obama's memoir, A Promised Land, sold 150k units across formats in its first five days of publication. Of publication. Just to give you a rough idea of how successful Harry's memoir has been like, my family. And that's why, that's why 
you are seeing the UK media conduct fake, fake polls right now, saying that, oh, look, Harris' popularity has fallen, and then media outlets are picking it up. Media outlet, outlets that have been part of this mere campaign against Harry and Meghan. The power has dwindled. The power of the UK media, and they know it has dwindled. They know it. This war that they waged against Harry and Meghan, clearly, my family, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are the ones who are winning this war. Something the UK media don't want to hear one bit, my family. That Prince Harry and Meghan are winning. They are winning. My family, God is on Harry and Meghan's side. God is on Harry and Meghan's side. And they continue to fly higher and higher. I mean, hear this news also about Harry and Meghan's OK series, my family. Netflix touted new releases like the TV series Wednesday and also Harry and Meghan Duke series as well as Rianne Johnson's film Glass Onion as popular content during the quarter. My family. Also, Netflix is pleased with Harry and Meghan's Duke series. My family, these are blessings from God, my family. Obama, based on what has been reported on, sold 3.3 million in North America across all formats in just one month. Harry sold 3.2 million in major English language global markets in a week. In a week. In a week. My family, if you wonder why UK media are doing their polls right now, those fake polls, to like the public once again, that Harry and Meghan are not popular. This is why. This is why. When you tend to know your worth, when you tend to know your value, you know, of exactly how your worth, based on, you know, this numerous success of Harry's memoir spare. Because now, Prince Harry and even Meghan know just how much, you know, how much pulling power they have. They know how much pulling power they have by now. If Harry's memoir spare can sell this, imagine what Meghan's memoir can do. Imagine that. Think about that for a second. Imagine what Meghan's memoir, if she ever decides to write one, Imagine what she can do, my family. So clearly, if Harry and Meghan were not popular, as the UK media claim they are not, then how come they are selling, you know, books this, this well? How come 3.2 million copies have been sold within the first week how come? How come? My family. So clearly, so you understand, you know, how embarrassed UK media must be time and time again. And even someone called Anna said this. I love when the British press is embarrassingly wrong about Harry and Meghan's success. Spare sold 3.2 million in just one week. English only. To break even, book would need to enter the top 15 chart in the US and become a UK bestseller. They said it did that, my family, it did that on its first day of being released. <laughs> my family, I love how, you know, you know, UK media are constantly being embarrassed time and time again by Prince Harry and Meghan. Clearly, Harry and Meghan have power. They have influence and the UK media did not want either Harry and Meghan to know about that. They did not want Harry and Meghan to see that and appreciate that. 
No wonder they always want to paint the illusion that Harry and Meghan have failed. My family, when clearly that just ain't happening. That has not happened and that will not happen, my family. You know? I even remember someone called Christopher Wilson. Do you remember Christopher Wilson, my family? The same one who had said that sources within the palace had said, you know, had anticipated that Harry will come back to the UK alone without his wife, without his son. There is something he posted, you know, on Twitter that I want to share with you, my family, on this issue. He said this, one can't help but feel the publishers are going to take a caning over this. The 14.5 million pounds advance is likely out of all proportion to the likely sales, given the hostility towards Harry and Meghan in Britain. Plus, the publishers are committed to the same amount again for two further books, he said. He called it madness. <laughs> My family, the biggest mistake of this carnival of so-called experts is thinking that Prince Harry, you know, writes, you know, books that won't sell like they do. Like the lies they spread about Harry and Meghan to make money. Prince Harry is not them. Prince Harry is on a league of his own, my family. And Prince Harry is thriving, my family. And once again, records have been broken. Even in the UK itself, the place that they're saying that, you know, oh look, you know, Harry and Meghan, you know, are hated in the UK. But clearly, my family, those views are only shared by the UK media, but not the general public who love Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. My family, UK media believe that the hatred of Harry and Meghan is shared similarly by the public. I believe uh, that my family, people have opened their eyes. People won't be led around by a lying, racist UK tabloid press. People are opening their eyes. And that's why people purchased Harry's memoir because they wanted to hear Harry's story after being lied to by the tabloid media time and time again. I mean, look at the record of Harry and Meghan in court. Harry and Meghan record in court every time they take a tabloid to court they always win time and time again always time and time again you know even right now i'm thinking about megan's court case against daily fail that megan won on copyright for breach of copyright my family on both counts copyright and privacy but she was paid millions in copyright so my family Imagine, I'm just thinking about how much money Daily Mail paid to Meghan Markle. I'm just thinking about that right now. How much, how many millions they paid to Meghan for breaching her copyright, my family. Because seeing Harry's numbers tells me that indeed, my family, they must have paid a lot, a lot, a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money to Meghan Markle. My family. Now, my family. Now, someone say this that UK media have been wrong every single time. They should stop with these predictions. They really just need to stop. They're always wrong about everything. Someone say that. When will these clowns learn? They continue to embarrass themselves time and time again, my family. You know? I like that it became even the fastest selling non-fiction in Britain in just one day. In just day one, my family, the power of Prince Harry, the pulling power of Harry, the influence that Harry wields and holds. And yet they say that Harry is irrelevant. Yet they can never ever talk about, you know, the other members of the farm that they call relevant. The only time they mention them is when they're trashing Harry and Meghan, my family, 
hate never wins. Only love wins. And Prince Harry and Meghan continue to thrive. And I'm happy to see this 100%, my family. Happy to see Harry and Meghan continue to thrive. My family, now someone called Mary Frank said this. Man often proposes, but the Lord Almighty disposes. He has the final say, my family. I love this so much. Love this so much. Spare by Prince Harry keeps winning. Hashtag good King Harry, my family. Good King Harry. My family, I love this. That everything is going so well for Prince Harry. Now, some call Alexis. See this. Tabloid say Prince Harry needs to sell 1.7 million copies of Spare to break even. Random House. We just sold... 3.2 million copies. UK Press. Netflix expected to announce just 4.5 million new subscribers despite Harry and Meghan's, you know, Netflix docuseries. And then Netflix goes ahead with this to announce this, that we, Netflix, have added more than 7 million subscribers, credits Harry and Meghan, docuseries, and also Wednesday series on netflix <laughs> my family i'm just so proud i am just so proud i am just so proud of harry and megan i just have to clap right now i have to clap for them for this success you know my family i'm proud i am proud of this so so much my family you know i love this so much i'm proud of harry and megan once again daily fail are proved to be the liars that they are they wanted for Harry and Meghan to fail, for Harry to come back to the UK, you know, and beg for money from Charles and William. Well, that just ain't happening. The firm took away Harry's security and Meghan in the hope that they could bully Prince Harry, scare them into coming back, scare Harry into returning without his wife and son. But Harry and Meghan Thanks to the help of Tela Perry, they received support, my family. And now, my family, look at them. Look at them. They are thriving, my family. And you love to see it. You love to see it so, so much. You know, my family, you love to see it. To all in the UK media, that was snickering that Harry would need to sell 1.7 million books in order for his publishers to break even. Well, Sneaker Moon, Big Red smashed that number. Now I bet he's also earning royalties. I like that. I like that 100% my family. And Harry told you, Harry told you that he has 400 additional pages in his memoir, my family, that were not put in the book. You know? The first draft had 800 pages. So we need that 400 pages, Harry, for the second book. And after the huge success of Harry's memoir, Spare, make no mistake, Penguin Random House will definitely be pleased, happy, overjoyed, and tell Harry right now, Harry, we need a second book from you <laughs> my family you love to see it you love to see it after this enormous enormous success you know my family if i were just harry i'll continue to piss off the uk media because they are going to be mad anyway even if megan was to close a car door they will still complain actually they did complain about that when megan was back in the uk so my family, you do you, Harry. You do you, Harry. You do you, Megan. Keep doing what makes you happy. Tell your story. Tell your story. And make the tablet press become even more and more angrier than they already are. Keep being successful. Keep being successful. Success is the biggest and best ever. Revenge. Because they don't want to see Harry and Meghan succeed. They want them to fail. Well, clearly, that just 
isn't exactly working out my family. You know, that just isn't working out my family. So I'm just happy, really, with this news right now, you know. And the most recent data, that in the US, it's 1.6 million. UK, it's 8,000. My family, UK, we are almost getting to 1 million. Right now, the number stands at 800,000. We are almost getting to 1 million. My family. <laughs> My family. Prince Harry is breaking records. He is breaking records. And any single company, any single organization, you know, looking at these numbers from Harry, looking at them, you know, they'll say, hey, look, we want to work with you, Harry. We want to partner up with you. Advertisers will be calling Harry and Meghan. We want to work with you. That is the tabloid media biggest fear. They don't want that. They don't want Harry and Meghan to keep getting richer than they already are. My family. You know? And even Spotify. Looking at these numbers, my family, get Megan a season two of archetypes right now, people. Get Megan a season two of archetypes. Come on. Come on. Get Megan season two of archetypes, my family. And let the haters continue to lose their minds. Get Megan that new deal. Season two. We need that 100%. You know? My family. I love this so much. I just love this so, so much. And I'm proud of what Prince Harry has been able to accomplish my family. You know, I'm glad what Harry is accomplishing. It, accomplishing breaking records out there. My family, I love to see this. It brings us all so much great joy and so much happiness, you know, to see Harry win my family. You know, I'm happy to see this 100%. Now, someone called Billy said this, that, but, but, he is really unpopular and has made a fool of himself and no one bought the book and he used to be quiet and I thought they wanted privacy. And where's Megan? And where, and when are they getting a divorce? Blah, blah, blah. Prince Harry continues to succeed. My family. Billy said that hashtag best selling author Prince Harry, hashtag spare Prince Harry, hashtag toxic UK tabloids who are always lying time and time again. As I said, tabloids rule by intimidation. What happens to the next pair when he sees just Uncle Harry has become a billionaire and they're taking abuse from the UK media? What happens? Because I see that the next target is Prince Louis, William and Kate's child. I see that they're propping him, up, propping him up so they can destroy him in the future. They have already begun to do that, my family. So just as Prince Harry said, our next target for the UK media is coming up. So what happens when they're taking abuse and then they see Uncle Harry, hugely successful, thriving, billionaire uncle harry after leaving the farm that tends to you know make the carnival or so-called experts and uk press you know be fearful and that's why they don't want at all one bit for harry to succeed you know because they know they will be losing a lot of money you know if they decide to be cruel or abusive to other spares they can choose to leave. And what will the WWE media do when they leave? Because they obviously, they know their worth. They'll know their worth. They'll see what Uncle Harry has done and say, okay, I want to be like Uncle Harry. I want to succeed like Uncle Harry. And go out there. And that will anger and piss off tabloids even more. A threat to their power. It's a threat to their power. As they rule by intimidation and clearly Prince Harry and Meghan are the ones who are winning this war 
waged by the UK media against both Harry and Meghan. My family, Prince Harry, is in great company with the Obamas, and I love, you know, I love this so so much. I love this so so much. You are special, Harry. You are special, Meghan. Archie and Lily Bedana and Doria are special. You knew your worth, and you said, "We don't deserve to put up with abuse," and you left. You left the UK. And no matter what the firm did to try and bully you back to the UK, take away security to make you afraid, to make you fearful, and you were afraid. Thanks to people like Stella Perry, who came to Harry and Meghan's aid at the time of need when Charles would not take Harry's phone call, my family, Prince Harry and Meghan, continue to prosper. And you love to see it. You love to see this. And these are the moments that will mark each and every single milestone. Each and every single milestone, we are going to mark it. For my family, we are really proud of the enormous success of Prince Harry. His memoir spare, we are so, so proud of him. And may God continue blessing him so, so much. No weapon from against Harry, Meghan, Archie, Libidana, Dora Raglan, and all of you members of the squad shall prosper. Please stay tuned to our next video. What do you think about this, you know, most recent news about Harry's memoir spare? And the Daily Mail, once again, being defeated by Prince Harry once again. The plots against Harry are just not working, my family. Harry is blessed. My family, kindly stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our Evergreen family on YouTube. God bless you all, members of the squad at home. God bless you all, members of the squad and your families at home. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan. Showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community. This amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family. From the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more. Stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.